take on this? Would you agree with what Dad said that India do start off as um, overwhelming favourites? So all of us should dial down the anxiety levels that that we are feeling, and that uh, Mudar is just sort of whipped up a little bit further. Uh, yeah, Vikram. I mean, uh, there's no question that uh, after all, India has won 10 matches in a row, and uh, all of them have been relatively uh, uh, facile victories. So, uh, when you look ahead to a match 24 hours or 48 hours before, you can say who is the favourite and who is not the favourite. But the point is, uh, as Dave will know very well, uh, you know, it's a one-day match. It's uh, it's not a test match. Whether it's 20 overs or 50 overs. In a one-day match, there's very little chance to come back and more <coughs> 50 overs. So, uh, it depends on the day, how the players react to the pressure, what the conditions are, who wins the toss, uh, the pitch, the weather. There's so many variables which we can, you know, sit around and uh, discuss uh, till the cows come home. But uh, uh, once the toss is done and once the players on the field whether you've won nine matches in a row, or ten matches, or three matches, or five matches, or whatever the re past records of the players is irrelevant. Okay. So, if you say favorite, yes, India favorite. But if you say, you know, dial down the uh, uh, tension and uh, le let's kind of take it for granted. I mean, nothing can be taken for granted. I know you didn't say that in so many words, but there'll always be butterflies in the stomach.